Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we um, have moved house recently. Please ignore my cranky daughter in the background. And this room that we're in is our front living room. And we don't really have much purpose for this room. So we're gonna make this into my little library. It's not gonna be big enough for all my books, just so you know. Um, I have a, I have a ton of them, a ton of bookshelves, ton of books. Okay, so we have an extra TV, some paintings, the printer in here, but everything else is all books, or at least pretty much all books. I think there's like one box that's got some like tchotchkes, knickknacks type things that would go on the bookshelves. Um, we're thinking I'll probably be able to fit four here, maybe one over here on the sidewall. Um, but our house is almost purely windows. Every wall that touches the outside is covered in windows. So um, this is not going to be my entire library. We're trying to work it out so I can get some more of the bookshelves upstairs in my room um, because they're just not gonna fit here. But I figured I would start this because um, our jobs for the moment are to tackle our bedroom, the kitchen, and this room because um, we are planning on replacing some furniture. I've had my bedroom set for as long as I've been married pretty much. I got a hand-me-down um, bedroom set when Caleb was in utero. Um, he... Uh, I was sleeping with my husband, my big pregnant belly, and my one-year-old who kept crawling into bed with me every morning. So between the four of us, we didn't have enough room in a, in a full-size bed anymore, so we bought a king. We didn't have any bedroom furniture, so a family friend gave me all of theirs. And we've been using that to this day. And um, we think it's time for an upgrade to something that we picked out ourselves. Not that it's not beautiful, it's hardwood, it's gorgeous furniture, um, but it's been breaking from lots and lots and lots of moves. And I think it's time to do something that's just for us. So we're buying new couches because the movers broke ours. Um, we're buying new bedroom furniture and we are gonna set up this room. Um, I've got a bunch of paintings. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with just yet, uh, but this is gonna be my library. And I figured I would show you guys the library progress. Um, I still have a couple more videos that are on my computer that have not been edited yet. So I'm going to work on those this week in between uh, bouts of unpacking. I will show you guys the rest of the house when it's a little bit more organized. Right now it's just hideous bomb went off. And I just don't feel comfortable showing you that much reality of my life at the moment. But... Uh, all of our stuff is here as of yesterday. Um, we've been doing this for a couple of days now, and I figured that now is the time that everything is here that we need to start building bookcases and organizing. So you will get off and on content for the next probably week or so while I go through everything. I need to do a massive unhaul because I have too many books and not enough shelves and not enough walls to put said shelves on. And I'll show you the rest of the house as we go. So this will be a uh, reorganization and unhaul of my books, as well as a little bit of house stuff. So welcome. I hope you enjoy. Bye.
Hi guys, so update time. Um, it's been a few days since the last update that you guys got and well, for good reason. We've been working pretty hard. Pat put together bookshelves for me. We only have five of them in here though. And I used to have like 12. So we have two that aren't gonna make it up right now. So let me show you a little bit more. Here are the boxes. Don't mind all of our shoes. We don't have a place to put them in yet. They're gonna, this shoe area is gonna be here once the books are gone. Those are the two left that haven't been put up. Don't mind the garbage and random crap everywhere. And then in the main room, we got a new couch and a new entertainment center and my dog. And then we also have these which are the ones that have the cabinets and then that are shorter than the billies. And then we also have a couple more upstairs. Again, we've been here for a week, so be nice. <laughs> uh, we have a new bed frame. We got, we're getting rid of our old one. And then we have this little setup. So we were gonna put these downstairs where the red ones are, but they didn't fit. And then our TV is gonna go on the TV stand. And then we have these bookshelves. We're gonna put our old couch in front of the window. And then we have this area over here that we may or may not put a bookshelf on. As of right now, I don't really want to. And then this area is gonna be our desks, which again, bookshelves would fit here better, but we don't have a place to put the desk. So the desk is gonna go here instead. And we will look at a wall. So excited. But yeah, that's it so far. And like I said, don't mind the boxes. We have been here a week. This is the end of day one. These are my piles. <laughs> so I have this section here are all red, um, like romancy books, some fantasy, my book of the month, uh, more romance. Those are my YA fantasies. Um, these ones are potential get rid ofs. Those ones are definite get rid ofs. And those ones are my sons. And then over here we have um, children's books, um, yearbooks, things that are like, will go on my shelves but aren't books. Over there we have mass market paperbacks, my um, graphic novels, and something else that I cannot remember at, the time, at this moment in time. And then there's some just little things that are floating all over the place. Like this right here is things that my kids put into the boxes to help fill the little empty spaces. So look at all the dog treats my dog has. Jesus criminy. Okay, so after this is all done, I have this to go. And this thing is like three deep. So we have three layers by two layers, plus a couple boxes here and there, and then all of these. And then last but not least, we have this pile right here. Um, and then this is my Alice in Wonderland books. So I'm getting there, started designing this one. I know I'm missing a couple of, like right there, I'm missing some Harry Potter, but I'm not sure how much I'm missing. So I'm probably gonna condense this from four to three once I figure out how much is left. Okay, so we put everything on the shelves just so we could see it and it's off my floor. Um, so up here is fairy tales and then random stuff. And then here is, so these are the books that I've read. These three shelves, I'm like, hey, these are these are all mixed up. <laughs> these are the books that I've read. Um, I have a bunch of books left to open and I have a tendency to get rid of books after I read them. So, a lot of my red books are in that box or in the pile next to it that are like possibilities. And then this shelf and this shelf are all my adult romances. We have the more horror, more sci-fi, more um, historicals, not a clue, dark academia, and just fiction. And then down there I've got a I've got night. Um, these are my YA romances so far. I know I have more. I'm not 
sure what these are. I think they're just like YA fiction. These ones, I definitely don't know what they are. These ones are more mysteries. These are all my middle grades. Um, these ones are, I don't know what the hell these ones are either. This one is more adult fantasy. Those are adult fantasy. And then YA fantasy and YA fantasy. Can you see where I used to buy a lot of is YA fantasy? Like I said, that box is my son's books. This box is my get rid of's. I love this cover, but I got it at a library bookstore thing and I can't get find the other ones. So I don't want to have just one off. These ones are my siblings books. And then these ones are ones I'm thinking about getting rid of. Some of them I read, some of them I haven't. And I don't know if I want to keep them or not. So they're in the make file. And then, like I said, these are all fillers. Empty boxes. Boxes that I can't do anything with right now. So these will either go to storage or get unpacked later. My kitty, who has been loving this room. It's his favorite room in the whole house. And he's been sitting out here and screaming at us to come Come pet it me. I need the pivots. Okay. And then, like I said, I still have all of that to do. I'm tired, though, because that's a lot of boxes to go through. All right. Bye for now. I don't know if you can hear me. This may not go into the vlog. Because if you can't hear me, there's no point. Um, so we're sitting here in the um, Seattle Center waiting for my nephew who is going to be this weekend. And i just having fun. It's pretty out here. And I have a couple videos to show you and I hope you like them. So enjoy the B-roll.
guys, quick update. Um, so we moved one of the small ones in here to kind of go with a corner style because I felt like we needed more room down here because these are all my unread books. My, um, I have one bookshelf upstairs plus two of the red ones. Um, and those were filling up fast also, so we'll see. So Pat brought me over some more books. All of these have been gone through. That's my Outlander books. Those are all of my Nora Roberts. Those are the ones that are Pat's and Caleb's. These are all like little kid books and stuff. And so what I have left is pretty much over here. I think I have 13 boxes left. Um, so we have 13 boxes left. That's it. Plus these five, which I'm about to work on. I have gotten rid of two boxes of books so far. This one is get rid of that I have pretty much read all of those or they're duplicates or I just don't want them anymore. Um, this is my I don't know section. I don't know what to do with these. I don't know if I should keep them or if I should get, them, get rid of them. Those are the I don't knows. All right, so back to work. Hey guys, um, update. This is my husband. He's hiding from me. Oh, 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 and my puppy. Oh no, my poor puppy. Oh, my poor puppy. Hi, baby. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, we went and got the toppers for my bookshelves because, well, I still have two bookshelves that we don't have a place to put. So I needed more room because this room is pretty much all windows. And so this was the only wall space that we had and I wanted to maximize the wall space so we got toppers for it. So we're doing, I have a method to my madness and I will definitely show you as I'm going along. But up until this shelf right here, that's all organized and the top three shelves are on the ground over here. Um, it's coming together slowly but surely. And then as soon as this is all picked up, so we have books on the ground still, books over here still, and then lots of books over here still. But my chair is gonna go there, and then my like filming area for planning will go here. We are finally coming together. Yay! Come on, baby! Come on! Go get him! Go get him, Siri! Go get him! You suck at this game! dead puppy. Oh, it's so sad. So sad. All right. So I never finished the video about my bookshelves. Here's my puppy. I figured I would just give you guys a brief overview. My Christmas tree's in the way. There's a couple boxes that never got unpacked. So over here is where we start my bookshelf. They're not pretty at all. I'm sorry. Um, this is like romance. Romance goes all the way up and over. There's a bunch of, it's kind of set up by genre and then within that genre, it's set up by um, author's last name. Pile of books I can't fit anywhere because I'm too bookshelf short. And then this is my get rid of or doesn't belong to me anymore pile. So let me see if I can step out of here a little bit better. Don't mind my mess, because I have my planning mess, my puppy, one of my kitties. Yeah, so 
this is just a kind of a brief overview of what looks like in here and I will show you the other couple bookshelves I've got too. This is my living room bookshelf. The top was much better put together but since we put the cat tree over here they've been walking up there so that is because of the cats. Um, but we have my series that shall not be named as well as my Alice in Wonderland books and my Sarah J Mass books. Down here in these cabinets can't see it it's kind of dark I'm sorry is all my mass market paperbacks and it spans the whole width of them I don't read them a lot but I do love them so I kept them so that's the living room bookshelf okay so I was filming with my actual camera and my actual camera is too dark so I am transitioning over to using this one um, these are my red books I don't have any red books downstairs and I have a tendency to really uh, get rid of a lot of books as I stop wanting them and this is what's left of my red books. I got rid of boxes and boxes and boxes of books that I read and this is left. As you can see I just got stacks everywhere because we messy in this house. Okay so that's it. That is my um book setup gives you an idea of what I have and where everything is and that kind of stuff I know it's not great and I'm sorry um I wish I had been able to show you a prettier version and there was a prettier version a few months ago but I did a big book haul and which you guys have seen and um with that book haul came the fact that I have literally no space on my bookshelf anymore um but it kind of gives you an idea of what my bookshelves look like I'm not going to do a bookshelf tour anytime soon, but maybe I'll do like a separate red versus unread. Um, the bookshelf up here and the one in the living room are both red. The one in my library is all unread. Um, I have a problem. It got really out of hand and I don't even want to think about how many books are down there. So we're just going to ignore it and pretend like I just have access to a very big library. Apparently libraries are supposed to be a thousand books and I have that. Okay, so um, that's it for now, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.